then. Luke Harvey, Manchester is out and about. We're always looking for different ways to encourage young people to come to the races. Let's have a quick word here. This is Lucy Gurney from Racing Together. Now, come on, tell me what you're doing here. So we've got a Racing to School group today. As you can see here, these guys, they're from Helsby Hill Primary School um, and they're enjoying a great day of racing school and carry. Um, and the other thing that's happening is that tomorrow it's Racing's National Day of Volunteering, okay. which is all over the country. Loads of racing organisations are getting involved in giving back to their local communities, volunteering for things like racehorse rehoming centres, food banks, tidying up their local areas, loads of things. So, it's, yeah, it's a busy week for us. Right, and C Carrie, now, I don't know if you've told the girls because you're very modest, <laughs> but you rode in the Grand National. I did, Luke, yeah, but back in the uh, days of black and white TV many years ago, 2005, I did, yeah. And yeah. do you know what, I just sent by looking you, you you enjoy teaching you know, showing these children what goes I do on. look yeah I mean so racing racing to school now we're in our 20th year and I've been full-time I think I'm in my 12th year and it's fantastic you know to get young people to the race course you know it, it links so well with their kind of school curriculum we've been doing lots of fun maths and things out, out in the rain well, but uh, but it, it's getting young people involved in racing well, as well it's just key well let's see if they've enjoyed it <laughs> come on then what have you learned today what's your name Paige Paige come on what have you learned today I've learned um, that <laughs> yeah, go on, no, go on. I've learnt um, that horses... <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're dangerous, they can be yeah. dangerous, but they are very lovable. What's your name? Lois. Come on, Lois, what have you learnt today? Uh, we've learnt a lot about the equipment and stuff. Have you? Yeah. And you enjoy it? Do you like horses? Yeah. Have you ridden a horse before? Yeah, I ride on the weekends and I help out around horses a lot. Good. Come on, let's have a quick word with some of these others. And what's your name? I'm Tilly. Tilly, and what have you learned today? So we've learned about distance, weighing, and all the equipment that you use, and we went in stables and things like that. Have, have you had a good day? Yeah. You look as though you have. <laughs> um, I'm Lucy, and we've learned about the imperial system of measuring, oh. and we've learned about like what of loads of all of the horse equipment's called. Oh, you're confusing me now. <laughs> I'm going to have to move on. I'm going to have to move on, Dad. Well, you've got some famous colours on. You have. And are you having a good day? Yeah. Good. What have you learnt, then? Um, just about, like, the jockeys and, like, what they wear. Yeah, yeah. Not much, unfortunately. Oh, the, the one the young man down here on the end. Come on, then. Have you had a good day? Yeah. Um, same as them. We've learnt what jockeys wear and how they add, like, things to the saddles to make it easier to race on the different terrains that there are. You're, you're jockey material, you are. Look at you. Do you. Ever thought of being a jockey? Uh, not really, but it does sound like a cool job. Yeah, it is, it is a cool job, and uh, as I've proved, you don't have to be intelligent to be a jockey. <laughs> <laughs> and nice to see you, Lou. You got to interview someone a bit smaller than you. Now, this horse was very good. We've got an Oaks trial next. Emily Upjohn already burst onto the scene. We'll assess her and today's Cheshire Oaks next.